Hello friends, welcome to my channel Click to Express. Today we will be discussing on few charts, chart properties on of different charts. So basically the chart property remains the same or fairly the same when you take up different charts. So here I will be taking up different charts or one or two charts and I will be showing you what, what we can do with it. So first of all, I will just pull a bar chart for me. I will take employee wise. sum of sales so now this is giving you uh, the sales of those employees over a what you got over a um, uh, over the year also so now let's I, I, I want to rename the field name as okay and now I just want to rename this as sales so you can basically see this thing gets changed so now I'll go here in the appearances I'll go one by one so it will be easy for you to understand so what I did I can add one more dimension here as quarter also so what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me quarter based on on what you call it as um, based on your quarter you have for Ravi you have four quarters what is the data over the four quarters so suppose that doesn't look good over here so I am just change, deleting that or I can take a year so we have only two year over here so it, it's gonna be easy for you to understand so probably I have the entire, entirely the same data that is why it is giving you the same color uh, or this doesn't look good but you can add different dimension that's what I mean to say over here the alternative dimension is nothing but suppose you want to add quarter over here it's similar so it's uh, alternative measure I will add first of all alternative dimension it will be easy suppose I'm adding an alternative dimension what it's gonna do is it will ask the user it, it will give the user his uh, like authority for him to select either data by quarter or either data by year okay so similarly if you have an expression over here I'm discarding this change suppose you want to check um, you want to add a measure over here suppose I want to add some of budget it is my it should be pulled I can pull it in my what you call an alternative measure so what what a person can do is what a user can do is he can select the budget based on your quarter or anything of any probable uh, selection he can make and based on that he can change the data so for now I don't need a data or I don't need a um, any alternative measure so I'm just removing this so you can add based on your requirement suppose there is a requirements I can also change the number here I can go here make it a number and set it to so if I have a data more more than 500,000 I want to make it uh, make it a different color and the down one will be a different color so that was my requirement if that's the requirement I can go here I can add value on label so it will give you labels on the value if you go here change the auto color make it to dimension it will change based on your dimension if you make it on measure it will change based on your measure and if you want to add an expression obviously you can add an expression so for me I'm adding an expression as if sum of sales in USD is greater than or equal to 500,000 then show me some RGB color I am giving it as 121 198 1 I am not sure what the color gonna come the second I am giving it as simple as red 
you can give anything based on your requirement so you can see it is giving me a green color and a red color if the value is lesser than your 500,000 okay so you can these are the very basic changes which uh, you can add a reference line also suppose I want to add a reference line maybe like you want to give an expression or you can write suppose I want to write a average of sum of sales okay so I'm not sure what I I think I made some mistake over here okay I cannot make average sum of sales because these are two different aggregation function I can give a aggregate in between based on your employee name so now it's gonna act fine so you can see there is an average line forming based on your so expression you have given so you can label it as it's gonna give you average line so these are the very basic changes which needs to be done in your uh, in your bar chart okay so now let's move to some some other or a basic chart say it as line chart so line chart also the the requirement remains the same or the things remains the very uh, same kind of thing but you can add a few more things say it like values on data points so the, these and all makes it a very good uh, in look and feel so i'm just showing you a different thing so that it becomes in, you know, easier when you start drawing it you know so now if i move to scatter plot i'm just showing you some random charts i'm adding a measure over here as like some of budget also so i have a data over here i want to go to appearance and suppose i want to increase the bubble size obviously you can increase the bubble size navigation if you want to on it so suppose if you want to navigate this from this place to this suppose you want to navigate this and move it front and back you can obviously do that so that's not required for me for for time being so i am just removing the navigation from here okay then go to edit i can make few more changes auto color off i want to give a color by dimension you can see the dimension color i want to remove this selection so based on these are the you know very common changes which you can do it in every chart so that's all in this video thank you have a nice day do subscribe my videos so as to get late latest updates